This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. The Wilson County rivalry, the battle for the victory bell. Currently, it resides in Fredonia with their 30-27 victory last year in Neote Shea over the Blue Streaks. Streaks trying to take it back to Neote. Cunningham approaches the ball. High short kick, far side, fielded at the 25, up to the 30. 35, across the 35 to the 37-yard line on the return. So the Jackets will set up shop first and 10 from their own 37-yard line. And on the stop for the streaks, Izzy Johnson. Just underway, 11.55 here in the first quarter. Jackets with the ball moving left to right. Dressed in all black with the shiny metallic gold helmets. Isaac Ostrowski, the quarterback under center. He's got the offset eye man in motion coming near side. That's Ayler. Back to throw. Ostrowski, he'll fire it deep. He does have a man, and it is complete. The 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Gavin Burgess reels in the pass from Isaac Ostrowski for the touchdown, and the Jackets, it takes one play, and they strike pay dirt with 11.44 showing here in the first quarter. Troy Miller to try the PAT kick for Fredonia. Ostrowski the holder. Good snap. Kick is up. It looks good. It is good. Yellow Jackets, seven. Blue Streaks, zero. We're back to the studios for 30 seconds. You're listening to the high school game of the week on 104.1 FM, KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia. Huge play for the Yellow Jackets as Isaac Ostrowski hooks up with his wide out for the touchdown. 67 yards to the end zone. Gavin Burgess reels it in. PAT kick added by the Yellow Jackets. It's 7 to 0 Fredonia. Only 16 seconds into this game and the Jackets have already struck for one touchdown. Kick is away by Troy Miller, coming near side, fielded at the 25, up to the 30, looking far side, trying to get around the wall, and he is going to be hit around the 31, 32-yard line, and that's Corey Rulston bringing that one back about eight yards on the return for Neota Shea. First and 10, blue streaks, the ball at their own 31-yard line with 11.36 showing here in the first quarter. And again, huge play, 67-yard touchdown pass from Ostrowski to Burgess. First and 10, blue streaks, Matthew Schenkel, the quarterback, he goes under center. He'll hand off first back through, and he rips off a pretty good gain out to about the 37, 38 yard line. That was McCaden Songer taking the straight handoff. Troy Miller making the tackle, but we've got a penalty flag on the play, and it's going to go against Neota Shea for an illegal shift. So it'll be a five yard penalty against the Blue Streaks to start their opening drive with 11 31 here in the first quarter. Fredonia already leading 7-0 over Neota Shea on that big 67-yard scoring pass from Ostrowski to Burgess. Again, Schinkel goes under center. This time he's going to run the option far side. He'll keep it. He's still on his feet around the edge. He's out near the 45-yard line of Neota Shea before being knocked out of bounds by Troy Miller. A great run by Matthew Schinkel as he turned on the Jets. And the officials, uh, they're going to mark it back just inside the 40-yard line as Schinkel stepped out of bounds about three yards shy of the first down yardage needed. So brings up now second down three for the Blue Streak offense. They're moving right to left. Schinkel at quarterback. He'll line up. Pistol gun formation. One back behind him, Songer. Three wide outs far side, one near side. He throws near side. Oh, it's a backwards pass. It's incomplete. And Fredonia swarming to the ball carrier as they run him out of bounds. That's Corey Rulston. And that should have been a live ball as uh, it was thrown backwards. And he's going to pick up maybe a couple yards at best. So Schinkel's pass complete there to Rulston. Brings up now third down one for the Blue Streak offense. 11-14 here in the first quarter. Schinkel splits one wide out far side. He goes in that pistol gun formation. Songer right behind him. Twin slot backs in the backfield. Puts a man in motion and now flags fly. As I don't know if uh, the jacket defense jumped off sides or not. That's appeared to be what it looked like. And it is. It's encroachment against Fredonia's defense. 
as they'll catch Caleb Couch jumping off sides from the right outside linebacker spot. So that's a first down for the Blue Streaks. The ball moved out to the Neodiche 46-yard line. 11.08 and counting first quarter. Fredonia up 7-0. Pistol gun set again. Schenkel, he'll hand off underneath. There's a lane right up the middle. Wide open. He goes inside jacket territory at around the 45-yard line. That's Izzy Johnson on the carry. He's going to pick up 11 yards on the carry. So Johnson doing a good job following his blockers on the offensive line. Gets the first down. And that moves the chains for the blue streak offense in jacket territory at the 43-yard line. First and 10. Again, Schenkel and the pistol gun set. Songer right behind him in the backfield. He'll hand off underneath. The ball pops loose, and uh, I believe Neota Shea covered it back up as Izzy Johnson bobbled the handoff right at the line of scrimmage, but he does dive on it and covers it up for no gain. Brings up now second down 10 for the Blue Streak offense. 10-23 and counting in the first quarter. First possession for Neota Shea. Fredonia scored on their first play of the game, 67-yard touchdown pass. Schenkel again, pistol gun set. This time he'll hand off on a reverse, and that goes right up the middle. And that should be first down yardage to Mason Berryman. He gets to the 31-yard line, and that's a gain of about 11 on the play for Berryman and the Blue Streaks. In on the stop for Fredonia is going to be Tyler Stevens. First down, Blue Streaks. Again, Matthew Schenkel, sophomore quarterback. He'll go pistol gun formation. He has one back directly behind him, two slot backs in the backfield, splits a wide out near side. We're going to have a timeout on the field by the Blue Streaks with 9.46 in the first quarter. Our score, Fredonia 7, Neodiche 0. Back to the studios for 30 seconds. It's the high school game of the week only on 104.1 FM. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Prior Field here in Fredonia. Jeff Carpenter with your play-by-play -play call after the timeout by Neota Shea, 946 in the first quarter. Fredonia with the 7-0 lead over the Neota Shea streak. Streaks with the ball in Fredonia territory at the 31-yard line, first and 10. Again, pistol gun set. Schenkel, he'll hand off. That's Songer, and he rips off a big chunk of real estate right side for about nine on the carry. Huge gaping hole off that right tackle. Tyler Deal making the tackle a Songer, but not after he gains nine. And it'll be, well, they're going to give him eight officially, so we'll call it now. Second down and two for the streaks offense just outside the Yellow Jacket red zone at the 23-yard line. Clock moving at 9.15 and counting first quarter. Blue Streaks on the move, right to left. Schenkel goes under center, double slot set, one back behind him, Songer. Wide outs each side of the field. He's got a man in motion. It's Johnson near side. Schenkel's going to keep it. He's in trouble in the backfield. He's hit hard, spins out of it, but then dragged down by Troy Miller. He'll pick up maybe a yard on the play. Schenkel did a good job just keeping the play alive. And it's going to be uh, third down and yeah, maybe a half a yard at best for the first down for the Blue Streak. Still pending. Ball positioned at the Fredonia 21-yard line. Yellow Jackets showing a four-man front. Blue Streak offense. They break huddle. Lit wide out coming near side. Pistol gun formation. Schenkel, he'll hand it off underneath again. And there's another lane right up the middle inside the 15 to near the 10-yard line. Mason Berryman picking up 11 yards on the play. Stevens making the stop for the Yellow Jacket defense, but the Black Swarm for Fredonia, the defense getting gouged right now on the ground by the Big Blue crew for Neota Shea. Again, Schenkel chooses the pistol gun formation. Songer behind him in the backfield. Puts in motion Johnson. Now Schenkel's going to keep it. He runs right side, and he runs right into a host of black jerseys. Going to be a short gain on the play. Trey Preset making the tackle for the Jacket defense right around the eight-yard line. Deal also in on the stop as well. So it's going to be a gain of about three on the play for Schenkel. Second down goal from the eight-yard line, the Odishe. Schenkel in the pistol gun. Hands off. No, he's going to keep it far side, trying to get around the edge. Schenkel goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Streaks. Eight-yard touchdown. Matthew Schenkel, the sophomore quarterback, touches the end zone for the first Blue Streak score of the night with 7-21 showing in the first quarter. 7-6, to six, Fredonia's lead now cut into. PAT kick pending for the Blue Streaks. 
Cunningham set to try the PAT kick. Kick is up, looks pretty good from here. He splits the uprights. We're tied at seven in the Wilson County rivalry between Fredonia and Neodiche. 7-21 first quarter, back to the studios for 30 seconds. This is the high school game of the week on 104.1 FM KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia. Neota Shea getting on the scoreboard on their first offensive possession as they drive right down the field, about 70 yards for the touchdown, culminated by the eight-yard scoring run by sophomore quarterback Matthew Schinkel. PAT kick added by Cunningham. And we're tied at seven here at Fredonia. 7-21 mark of the first quarter. District 7 game in Class 3A football. It's the Wilson County rivalry. They're playing for the victory bell. So emotions running high here in Fredonia, Kansas. Great crowd on hand, standing room only on the Neodiche side. Cunningham set to kick off again for the Blue Streaks for the second time here tonight. He'll tee it up at the 40-yard line. Colton Cunningham wearing number one. He's a junior, 145-pounder. He kicks it pretty deep this time, hits it about the 12. Inside the 10, picked up, advanced to the 15, out to the 20, still rumbling near the 25-yard line. That's about a 16-yard return. Caleb Couch bringing that one back. So Couch doing a great job returning it about 16 yards. Corey Rulston in on the stop around, along with Kyle Savage for the Blue Streak special teams. First and 10, Fredonia from their own 25-yard line, 7-14 first quarter. We're tied at 7. Isaac Ostrowski, quarterback under center. He's got two backs in the backfield, wide out near side. He'll hand off first back through. That's Tyler Stevens, and he finds running hard off the left tackle for a gain of about two on the play. Pretty hard hit there right at the line of scrimmage. Cameron Cook leading the way along with Wooten. So that's a pickup of two. It's going to be second down and eight for the Yellow Jacket offense. Again, Ostrowski, the quarterback. This time he'll select. Shotgun set. Stevens left side in the backfield. Twin wideouts each side. Neodiche with the four-man front defense. Ostrowski to run the option. Now he pitches it. The ball is loose on the turf, and Stevens has to dive on it. That's going to be a loss of the two yards they just picked up. So the Neodiche defense doing a good job stringing out the play so it's going to be now third down and nearly 10 to go they've got it at about nine and a half clock moving at 6 10 and counting here in the first quarter we're tied at seven on the board between Fredonia and Neodiche Yellow Jackets with their second offensive possession during the six minute mark first quarter Ostrowski in the shotgun right side Stevens the tailback Twin wideouts near side and far side. Ostrowski to throw. He's hit right as he gets rid of the ball. Good defensive pressure in the backfield by the Blue Streak front line. And coming up with the tip was Hunter Hutchison. So it's going to bring up a punting situation now. Fourth down and a long nine facing Fredonia. Caleb Couch set to punt the ball away. He'll stand at Fredonia 15-yard line. Slight wind coming out of the north-northwest about six miles an hour. We got 61 degrees presently. Good snap for Couch. He gets the kick away, and it's a dandy high hanger. Fielded at the 35-yard line, coming near side across midfield into jacket territory at about the 40 and a return of 25 yards. That's Mason Berryman for the Neodiche special teams before he is dragged down near side of the field. Caden Unruh in on the stop for the Jackets. First and 10, Blue Streaks from the Fredonia 40-yard line, 552 here in the first quarter. Tied at 7-7. Seven to seven. Both teams scored on their first possession of the game. Now Neodiche getting the ball back after the Yellow Jackets had to punt it. They've got their second chance in jacket territory. Schinkel, the quarterback, pistol gun formation, Songer behind him. He'll hand off to the back underneath. He's looking for a lane. He'll bounce it outside. It's Berryman again. He's inside the 30 to about the 24-yard line. 16-yard scramble there on the option going to Mason Berryman, and Berryman has been deadly unofficially having for three carries for 38 yards here in the first quarter. 
We go under six minutes, first and 10, blue streaks inside the Yellow Jacket 25-yard line. Rulston comes out, near side is wide out, another wide out far side. Again, pistol gun set, Schinkel, man in motion. He'll hand off underneath. It's going to be Izzy Johnson, and Johnson is buried for a loss on the play. He might have got back to the line of scrimmage, but nothing else there is Tyler Stevens coming up with a big shot right at the line of scrimmage. So no gain on the play, brings up second and 10 for the Blue Streak offense. Again, this game, a District 7 game. It's the opening night for district play in Class 3A football in the state of Kansas. The last three games of the year, they mean everything. Pistol gun set, Schinkel. He hands off underneath, Berryman. He bounces it outside. He's got speed, turns on the Jets. He's got first down yardage, and then he's cut down far side of the field at about the 14-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play for Berryman and the Blue Streaks. And Mason Berryman, you can pretty much count on double-digit yards gained every time he touches the ball. 11, 11, 16, and 10, respectively, on four carries for Mason Berryman. First down, Blue Streaks inside the Yellow Jacket red zone, the 13-yard line. Pistol gun set again, Schenkel. He hands off Songer, and McCaden Songer tripped up after a short gain of about three on the play. In on the tackle, Will Lane for the Black Swarm defense for Fredonia. Brings up now second down and seven. Blue Streaks knocking on the door again here, east end zone. Pistol gun set, Schinkel. High snap, he'll hand it off right up the middle. It's going to be Songer again as he advances it to near the five-yard line. So a gain of about five on the play for Songer and the Blue Streaks. Again, Lane in on the stop along with Tyler Stevens. And also Troy Miller on the gang tackle for the Fredonia defense. Third down, two coming up, 3.30 and counting first quarter. Tied at seven. Again, pistol gun set. Schenkel, the quarterback. He's going to hand off Berryman. He's trying to get around the outside. Dives forward. Touchdown, blue streaks. Mason Berryman punches it in from five yards out for the second blue streak touchdown of the first quarter. 3.17 in the first. Neodeshe's lead now at 13-7. PAT pending by Colton Cunningham. Kick is up by Cunningham. Coming near side, no good. He pulled it to the left with 317 showing in the first quarter. Neodice 13, Fredonia 7. Back to the studios for 30 seconds. You're listening to the high school game of the week on 104.1 FM KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia, Kansas. The Neodice Blue Streaks taking the lead on a five-yard touchdown run by tailback Mason Berryman. PAT kick missed by Cunningham. It's 13-7. Blue Streaks with the lead now over the Yellow Jackets. High octane offense so far here in the first quarter. We still have three minutes and 17 seconds remaining. And again, it's going to be Colton Cunningham teeing it up for the third time here in the first quarter for the Blue Streak special teams. And it's a squib kick near side, covered up around the 32-yard line by the Yellow Jacket special teams. Credit that by Jacob John. So first and 10, the Jackets will set up shop at their own 32-yard line with 317 in the first quarter. They trail 13-7 to to the Blue Streaks. Again, the battle for the victory bell. The Wilson County Classic between Fredonia and the Otisha, the best rivalry you can find around southeast Kansas. Under center, Ostrowski the quarterback. Two backs offset in the backfield. Stevens in motion. It goes to the second back. That's Caleb Couch, and uh, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it before he is hammered by three blue streaks. Zach Johnson leading the way for the Neodice defensive line. Second down 10 for the Yellow Jackets. We're under three minutes and counting here in the first quarter. And now the officials holding play here temporarily. Taking a look at 
one of the players down there. Looks like he's okay. That's Will Lane. We're back to live action. Second down, 10. Jackets under center, Ostrowski. Stevens, the tailback. Slot back is Couch. It'll go to Couch, far side. He weaves his way between defenders, bangs across the 35 to the 37-yard line. So that's a gain of five on the play for Couch and the Yellow Jackets. It's going to bring up now third down and five for Fredonia's offense. Clock moving at 219 and counting here in the first quarter. Again, our score, Neodice 13, Fredonia 7. Jackets trying to convert. Shotgun formation, Ostrowski the quarterback. Stevens right side in the backfield. He's got twin wideouts each side of the field. Four-man front defense for the streaks. Here come the blitz. Ostrowski fires. It's pulled in one-handed. An unbelievable catch near side. Wow, that was huge there, and that should pick up the first down. Tyler Deal, one-handed grab, and that brings it out to the 44-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the pass from Ostrowski to Deal. Cameron Cook in on the tackle, but Deal coming up with a circus catch, moves the chains first down, 151 first quarter. Ostrowski under center, lone back behind him is Stevens. It goes to Stevens right up the middle, and he is gang tackled for a gain of maybe a yard or two at best. They'll give him, uh, they'll give him a couple on the play, so... Wooten leading the charge for Neody Shea. Well, that was a hard couple of yards for Stevens and the Jackets. We're under 90 seconds and counting here in the first quarter. Neody Shea with 13 to 7 advantage over Fredonia. Isaac Ostrowski again the quarterback. He'll go under center. Stevens behind him is the tailback. Couch in motion is the slot back. Ostrowski's going to keep it. Coming near side. He is stacked up and around midfield. He's going to pick up about four on the carry. Drew Stover in on the tackle for the Blue Streak defense. So we got third down and four to go for the Yellow Jacket offense. We're under 50 seconds in counting here in the first quarter. 13-7, Neota Shea with the early lead over Fredonia. Ostrowski, the quarterback, goes under center. Stevens, the tailback, slot back left side will be Couch. Man in motion is Ayler. Hands off. No, he's going to pitch at the last second. Couch comes up with it on a fingertip grab. Looked like he almost bobbled it and dropped it. And he's going to be hit hard on the far side of the field. Mason Berryman making the tackle after only a gain of one for Couch and the Yellow Jacket offense. Fourth down three coming up for Fredonia. That's going to be the last play of the first quarter. And our score, Neota Shea 13, Fredonia 7. We're back to the studios for 60 seconds. You're listening to the high school game of the week only on 104.1 FM KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back I'm here in Fredonia. Fourth down, three Yellow Jackets to punt the ball right near midfield. Kick is away. Caleb Couch puts it high into the sky. End over end. It takes a Yellow Jacket hop and goes inside the 20 to about the 14-yard line of Neota Shea. 35-yard punt with the roll for Caleb Couch and the Yellow Jackets. That's going to pin the Odishay pretty deep here to start their next drive with 11.48 showing in the second quarter. Blue Streaks leading the Yellow Jackets 13-7 in the Wilson County rivalry. The battle for the victory bell currently being held by the Fredonia Yellow Jackets by virtue of their 30-27 win in the Odishay last year. Streaks will go pistol gun set, Shinkle the quarterback. He hands off underneath. It's going to be Behrman, and Behrman this time across the 15 to near the 16-yard line. So he's only going to pick up about a yard on the play. Jared Reed making the tackle for the Jacket defense. So second and nine coming up for the Blue Streak offense. Again, just underway second quarter, 11-20 and counting. Here in week seven, it kicks off district play. We're in district seven in class 3A football, Neota Shea and Fredonia. Blue Streak's leading 13-7. Pistol gun set. Schenkel hands off first back through, and he is blasted right at the line of scrimmage. That's McCaden Songer, and he gets nothing. Troy Miller penetrating the gap, coming up with a big shot. So they might give him about a yard on the body lean. They're going to say third down, seven coming up for the Blue Streak offense. Under 11 minutes and counting here in the second quarter. Yodishay moving left to right. 
Schinkel, the sophomore quarterback, pistol gun formation. Songer behind him in the backfield. Schinkel rolls out of the pocket. It's a busted play, and he is hammered clear back by the five-yard line. A big tackle in the offensive backfield. Ayler coming up with a big hit on Matthew Schinkel, and he's going to lose about eight yards on the play. Fourth down and long coming up. Call it fourth and 18, and Yodushe set to punt the ball away. Izzy Johnson standing about eight yards deep in the end zone to kick it. He gets it away. It's a wobbler near side, takes a blue streak hop at the 35, goes out to the 45, and rolls all the way to midfield. So a pretty good punt by Izzy Johnson on the roll, going to pick up about 37 yards altogether. So first down for Donia with 9.43 showing here in the second quarter. Yellow Jackets trailing the Blue Streaks 13-7. to These two teams both scored on their opening possession of the game, but since then it's been pretty defensive-minded. Under center, Ostrowski, the quarterback. He's got two backs in the backfield. Ayler goes into motion far side. Ostrowski rolls out far side. He's going to launch it deep. Has a man off his fingertips incomplete. He was trying to go to Gavin Burgess again inside the 20-yard line, but Burgess unable to reel that one in. It'll bring up now second down and 10 for Fredonia. 9.36 here in the second quarter. Yellow Jackets right at midfield, second and 10. Isaac Ostrowski, the junior quarterback under center, splits wide out near side. That's Burgess. He's got Stevens behind him as the tailback. And it goes to Stevens. No, it's the end around handoff. And there he goes around the end on the 40, 30, 25, 20, still on his feet inside the 15 to near the 10 yard line. Logan Sherman, huge gain on the play. That's a gain of about 45 on the play for Logan Sherman. So it'll be first and goal after Drew Stover with a touchdown saving tackle for the Blue Streak defense. First and goal from the streak five-yard line for Fredonia. Under center, Ostrowski. Again behind him, Stevens. He'll go to Stevens this time right up the middle. And the tailback hits the line hard, but there's not much give in that defensive line. Picked up maybe about a yard, yard and a half. Wooten again on the tackle after a gain of one. So second down and you know, second and goal from about the three and a half yard line for the Yellow Jacket offense. 8.40 and counting here in the second quarter. Yellow Jackets pounding on the door, east end, trying to tie this game up. Ostrowski goes under center. He's got two backs in the backfield. This time it's going to go to Couch. He dives forward close to the goal line. Touchdown, Caleb Couch in the Yellow Jackets. Strike pay dirt. Couch scoring from three yards out on the touchdown to tie the game with 8.24 showing here in the second quarter. 13 all, and now the PAT kick by Troy Miller to try to give the Yellow Jackets the lead. Good snap, kick is up, it looks good, it is good. And the Fredonia Yellow Jackets inch ahead of the Blue Streaks, 14-13, 8-24, second quarter. Back to the studios for 30 seconds. You're listening to the High School Game of the Week on 104.1 FM, KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia. The Yellow Jackets striking back with a touchdown. This one from three yards out by Caleb Couch. The PAT kick added by Troy Miller. And Fredonia steals the lead away from Neota Shea, 14 to 13, with 8.24 showing in the second quarter. Caleb Couch doing a great job following his blocking and then just pile driving his way into the end zone for that last Fredonia touchdown. And now the Yellow Jackets set to kick off, leading by one. Again, the Jackets wearing their home black with old gold helmets. Neota Shea, white helmets, white jerseys, white pants, blue numbers. Miller to kick for the Jackets. He boots it away. Pretty good kick. Fielded at the 15-yard line by Berryman. Up to the 20, 25. He has a lane, 30, 35. He's out to the 40-yard line before being tackled on a return of 25 by Mason Berryman, Lane Hawley coming up with the tackle for the Yellow Jacket special teams. 
So with 8.15 showing here in the second quarter, the Blue Streak offense sets up shop at their own 41-yard line. Jackets with the slim 14-13 lead here in the Wilson County rivalry. District game, a game that's gigantic for both schools. Pistol gun set, Schenkel. He'll run the option near side. It goes to Songer, and he's hit near the 45-yard line. So a gain of about four on the play for McCaden Songer. Troy Miller in on the tackle for the Yellow Jacket defense. Second down six coming up for the Streaks offense. We go under eight minutes and counting second quarter. Fredonia with the 14-13 edge. Schenkel again the quarterback. Pistol gun set. Two yards behind him is going to be Songer. This time he's going to hand off underneath. It's Berryman and he's looking for a lane. He has it still on his feet. Cutting across the green. The 40, the 30. He's in jacket territory near the 24-yard line. That's a 37-yard run by Mason Berryman. Drake Shea making the tackle, but not before a huge gain by the Blue Streak offense. 7.25 and counting, Blue Streaks with a fresh set of downs. First down at the Yellow Jacket 24-yard line. Fredonia leading 14-13 over Neo to Shea. Schinkel again in that pistol gun set. Songer behind him in the backfield. Man in motion near sides Johnson. It's going to go to Songer, and Songer is hit hard in the backfield. He'll lose a couple yards on the play. Will Lane making the tackle for Fredonia. So second and 12 coming up for the Blue Streak offense. Ball spotted at the Fredonia 26-yard line. Again, pistol gun set in the backfield for Schenkel. Songer behind him is the tailback. He'll hand off underneath. It's going to Berryman again. He's still looking for a lane, and this time he's going to be cut down pretty quick at around the 21-yard line. Gain of five on the play officially for Mason Berryman. Shea and Lane making the tackle for the Yellow Jacket defense. It's going to bring up now third down seven for Neota Shea. Ball just outside the Yellow Jacket red zone at the 21-yard line. Again, Schenkel in the pistol gun. Songer behind him. Wide outs each side of the field. Four-man front for Fredonia. Going to keep it. Runs the option. Schenkel is in trouble, and he is blasted. Swarm of black shirts all over Matthew Schenkel as he gains nothing on the play. It's going to be fourth down and seven. Four down territory for Neo Shea. Ball at the 21-yard line of Fredonia. 5-27 and counting second quarter. Fredonia leading Neo Shea 14-13. First huge play of the first half right now. Schenkel in the pistol gun. Behind him is Songer. He's going to run the option. Coming near side. Now he's going to throw. There is a flag on the play. It's incomplete in the back of the end zone. And there is a flag in the offensive backfield on the play. I think it's going to go against Neota Shea. Looks like a hold, possibly. It is holding against the Blue Streaks, and the Yellow Jackets decline it on the incompletion by Schenkel. So turnover on downs with 5.08 showing in the second quarter. Fredonia getting the ball back on their own 21-yard line. They lead the Blue Streaks. 14 to 13. So the Black Swarm defense doing their job for Fredonia, giving the ball back to the offense. Isaac Ostrowski goes under center. He's got the offset power eye in the backfield. Couch the deep back. Yodiche with the four man front. Ayler in motion. He'll hand off right up the middle, and there's a big lane. That's Tyler Stevens still running on yardage. 35, the 40. And Stevens is going to be stacked up at around the 38-yard line before he is brought down. That's a gain of 17. Zach Johnson making the tackle for Neota Shea, but not before 17 yards ripped off by Tyler Stevens and Fredonia with 4.59 showing in the second quarter. Fredonia 14, Neota Shea 13. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to the high school game of the week. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Gene John Stadium here in Fredonia. 4.59 remaining in the second quarter. The Yellow Jackets leading the Blue Streaks 14-13 in the Wilson County rivalry. Neodice and Fredonia, a District 7 game in Class 3A football. Both teams trying to get into the playoffs. A win tonight would be a step in the right direction. Ostrowski leading the way for the offense of Fredonia. He goes under center. Two back set in the backfield. Four-man front defense for the Blue Streaks. Ayler in motion. 
He'll hand off. Again, it's Stevens as he hammers his way up near the 45-yard line of Fredonia. Tyler Stevens dragging Blue Streak defenders. That's a gain of about five on the play. So it brings up second and five for the Yellow Jacket offense. 440 and counting here in the second quarter. And now Fredonia trying to open it up a little bit with their ground and pound attack. Ostrowski goes under center with the tight set. He's got the pro set in the backfield. Two backs lined up, one wide out near side. It goes to Stevens again, and this time tough sledding as he's hit hard, spins out of the tackle, falls forward for maybe a yard or two gain. Big shot there, Hunter Hutchison, also Zach Johnson. So a gain of about two on the play for Stevens in the yellow. Jackets. He's up now third down three. We're under four minutes and counting here in the second quarter. Fredonia leading 14-13 over Neodiche. Ball at the Yellow Jacket 46-yard line. Ostrowski under center. He eyes the blue streak defense. Two backs behind him in the backfield. Hands it off to Couch. He gets out of one tackle. Runs into a brick wall after that. He's going to be stopped after about a yard gain. Not much running room right there for Caleb Couch. In fact, uh, they're going to give him nothing on the scoreboard. Caden Wooten in on the tackle for Neody Shea along with Mason Berryman. Fourth down, three coming up for the Yellow Jackets. Ball at their 46-yard line. We're nearing the three-minute mark second quarter. They're up by one point, and now they're going to have to punt the ball away. Caleb Couch set punted away from the 35-yard line. Good snap. He gets the kick away. It's a good boot far side. Hits at the 20, takes a yellow jacket roll near the 15 to about the 13-yard line. And Berryman brings it back to about the 15 for a gain of two. So that's where the Blue Streak offense will set up shop first and 10 from their own 15-yard line with 2.48 left here in the second quarter. The Odisha trailing Fredonia 14 to 13. Last year, this game was 30-27. to Fredonia winning at Blue Streak Stadium to bring home the victory bell. The white-clad Blue Streaks, they break huddle, led by sophomore quarterback Matthew Schinkel. Pistol gun formation. He's got man in motion as Johnson. He's going to hand off underneath to Johnson, and he dances forward for a gain of about three on the play. Jared Reed making the tackle for the Yellow Jacket defense. They're going to give him two officially. Second down, eight. Neota Shea. Clock moving at two and a half minutes and counting second quarter. The way this game started out, first play of scrimmage for Fredonia, 67-yard touchdown pass from Ostrowski to Burgess. Thought it was an arena football game. High snap, Schinkel hands it off underneath. It's Berryman. He's across the 20 to the 21-yard line. That's a gain of four. But Berryman picking up some pretty good yardage there for Neody Shea. Brings up now third down and long four, short five, however you want to call it. Ball rests at the Blue Streak 21-yard line. We're down to 150 and counting, second quarter. Black Swarm defense for Fredonia. They try to stiffen here and shut down the Blue Streak attack. Schenkel goes pistol gun set. He runs the option near side. There's a flag on the play. He's going to keep it. He's hit about the 25-yard line, and he is wrapped up by two Yellow Jacket defenders. That's Will Lane in on the stop, but uh, there is a flag, and it's going to go against Neody Shea on the penalty. So the Fredonia crowd excited about that one. And they're going to mark off the penalty yardage from the 20-yard line. The point of infraction. Looked like it was a holding call against the Blue Streak. So that's going to move it back to about the 10-yard line. Now it is blocking below the waist is what the call is. So it is a 10-yard penalty. It goes just inside the 10-yard line of Neody Shea. 128 showing in the second quarter. Third down, 15 coming up for the Blue Streak offense. Matthew Schenkel, the quarterback, again in that pistol gun formation. Twin slot backs, one back behind him, Songer. Now it's going to be a halfback pass. Cunningham completes it at the 30-yard line, out near the 40. Colton Cunningham takes the handoff and fires a bullet to Corey Rulston. And that one there would cover about 28 yards on the play. So first down, Neota Shea on the play, and pretty special right there. Again, pistol gun formation. Schenkel to throw. He has a man out in the flat. It's complete to Cunningham this time, out near midfield, and he is gang-tackled in jacket territory at the 49-yard line. So that's going to be a gain of 11 on the play from Schenkel to Cunningham to move the chains yet again. 
First down, Neota Shea in hurry up mode, 41 seconds and counting before halftime. They trail by one. Again, pistol gun set. Low snap. Schenkel fields it. Rolls out of the pocket. Launches it deep, deep, deep. It's caught inside the 15 and tackled at around the two yard line. There is a flag on the play. Kyle Savage making the catch, but there is a flag, so we're going to wait and see what this one is. It might be passing interference against Fredonia. If it holds up, it's going to be a gain of 45-plus on the pass play. Pass interference, Yellow Jackets. So first and goal for Neota Shea after Savage reels in a 46-yard catch. So now with 27 seconds remaining, it's first and goal from the five-yard line of Fredonia. Clock moving at 20 seconds and counting. Schinkel in that pistol gun set. He'll hand it off. It's Berryman. He's looking for that lane, still fighting forward inside the five to about the four-yard line. And he's going to be stacked up for a short gain of one on the play by that Yellow Jacket defense. Caleb Couch leading the way on the tackle. 11.3 seconds remaining. Fredonia leading Neota Shea 14 13. We're going to take a 30 second timeout. You're listening to the high school game of the week only on 104.1 FM KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia, Kansas. Jeff Carpenter with your play-by-play. 11.3 seconds left before halftime. Neota Shea with the ball inside the five-yard line. Schenkel with the snap. He rolls out. He fires. And it is touchdown. Blue streaks. Schinkel throws a bullet pass, four-yard touchdown. That one goes to Corey Rulston for the score. And now Neota Shea with the lead, 19-14 over Fredonia with only seven and a half seconds left before halftime. But the Blue Streaks march right down the field and regain the lead, now going for two-point conversion. Schinkel again in the pistol gun set. He's going to hand it off, diving forward, and it's good for two. That's Izzy Johnson for the two-point conversion. And the Blue Streaks take a 21-14 lead over Fredonia with seven and a half seconds left. Again, back to the studios for 30 seconds. It's the high school game of the week on 104.1 FM, KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia. The Neota Shea Blue Streaks regaining the lead. Four-yard touchdown pass from Matthew Schinkel to Corey Rulston. And then the two-point conversion run by Izzy Johnson gives the Blue Streaks the 21-14 advantage over Fredonia with seven and a half seconds left here in the first half of play. Colton Cunningham set to kick off for Neota Shea special teams. Logan Sherman back deep along with Caleb Couch to receive the kick. Cunningham approaches the ball and Squibb kicks it. Far side, picked up by Jacob John, and he'll go down on a knee at about the 31-yard line of Fredonia. And there's a late flag that comes out after the play. And there's going to be some type of unsportsmanlike conduct penalty going against the Blue Streak special team. So that's a killer with 6.2 seconds left before halftime. An unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. We really couldn't see what went on for sure. It was on the far side of the field, the Neota Shea side. But it is a 15-yard penalty coming up against the Blue Streaks, and that will advance the ball out near midfield. It's going to be downed officially at the Fredonia 48-yard line. But really about one play left is all you have for Isaac Ostrowski and the Fredonia offense. Trailing 21-14 to to Neota Shea. You do a trick play or you heave this baby as deep as you can throw it. Ostrowski in the shotgun set, one back left side, and now flags fly from the line juds, and we're going to have have a procedure call coming up against the Yellow Jackets. So that's going to move them back five yards. So they're going to have a little more green to work with as it now goes back to the Fredonia 43-yard line. Second and 15, if that's any consolation. Really, the Jackets, they need to go 57 yards to the end zone. One play. Ostrowski in the shotgun. Drops to throw. Rolls out of the pocket. He's in trouble. 
He launches it deep. It's a duck up in the air, and it is incomplete as that will be the last play of the first half from Fredonia. Our score, the Neotiche Blue Streaks, 21. The Fredonia Yellow Jackets, 14. We're going to go back to the studios. And now, back to Friday Night Lights football. Here in the Wilson County Classic, the battle for the victory bell between the Fredonia Yellow Jackets and the Neotiche Blue Streaks. Fredonia will be kicking off to start the second half of play. They'll be kicking right to left. Crowd, both towns on their feet, rooting on their team. Beautiful night of football, about 59 degrees, a slight north wind at six miles per hour here at Gene John Stadium, Prior Field. Couldn't ask for better football weather. And I'm thankful because I'm outside calling the game, so it's a good deal. Troy Miller set to kick off for Fredonia special teams. Behrman and Cunningham back deep for Neotiche. Just getting ready to start the second half. We're underway. Line drive kick fielded at the 16-yard line. It's a reverse coming near side to Cunningham. He's up to the 30, 35, still on his feet, and he's hit hard, knocked down around the 40-yard line, so a return of about 24 yards on the reverse by Colton Cunningham and on the tackle for Fredonia. Logan Sherman. So first and 10 blue streaks from their own 40-yard line. Just underway 11-52, third quarter. Blue streaks up 21-14 over the Yellow Jackets. Schinkel in the pistol gun set. Songer behind him. Handoff goes to Songer. He's across the 40 to about the 45-yard line. Songer with the strong five-yard run right side for the blue streaks. Troy Miller in on the tackle for Fredonia. Second down five for the blue streak offense. 11-28 and count here in the third quarter. Again, Schinkel in that pistol gun formation, three yards deep, kind of a shotgun set with Songer right behind him. He'll hand off underneath. It's Izzy Johnson, and he'll dive forward to about the 49-yard line. Johnson picking up four yards on the carry. Brings up now third down and one. Will Lane in on the tackle, along with Trey Preset as well for the Fredonia defense. So third down one coming up for Neota Shea, just shy of midfield at their own 49-yard line. 10-45 and counting here in the third quarter. Pistol gun set again. Schinkel hands off underneath. It's Izzy Johnson, and he's going to lose yardage on the underneath handoff. Jacob John sniffing that one out along with Troy Miller. That's a loss of about three on the play. So it's going to be now fourth down and four for the Blue Streaks. The ball pushed back to their 46-yard line with 10-15 and counting in the third quarter. And Neotiche going to have to punt the ball back. Izzy Johnson standing at the Blue Streak 34-yard line. He gets the kick away, end over end, high into the sky, hits it about the 25, takes a Blue Streak hop to the 21-yard line of Fredonia where it's going to be down. That's Cameron Cook downing the ball for the Blue Streak special team. So a punt of around 32, 33 yards with the roll. First and 10, Fredonia. They trail 21 to 14 to Neotiche, 9.57 in the third quarter. Again, this game's been a heavyweight bout, one big blow after another. Fredonia scoring on their first play of the game from offense, 67-yard touchdown pass, Ostrowski to Burgess. Ostrowski goes under center. He's got the two back set in the backfield to be Couch and Stevens. Puts in motion Ayler. Hands off underneath. It's going to be Couch. He picks his way through the Neotiche defense out near the 25-yard line. Going to be a gain of about four on the play. Wooten making the tackle for Neotiche. Second down six coming up for the Yellow Jacket offense. Ball resting at the 25-yard line of Fredonia. Clock rolling at 9.30 and counting here in the third quarter. Fredonia right to left, under center. It's going to be Ostrowski, Ayler in motion. He'll hand off again to the deep back. That's Couch. He bounces it outside, coming near side, and then bumped out of bounds by Cunningham. And that should be enough for the first down, and that's going to pick up about seven on the play for Caleb Couch and the Yellow Jacket offense. So fresh set of downs, Fredonia. 9-16 mark here in the third quarter. 21-14 on the scoreboard in favor of Neotiche. Ball at the Yellow Jacket 32-yard line. Jackets dressed in all black, talic gold helmets. Under center, Ostrowski, two back set in the backfield. He'll hand off deep back. That's Caleb Couch again, and he cuts through the defense, tripped up around the 35-36 yard line. Gain of about three on the play for Couch. Berriman in on the stop for Neotiche. So it's going to bring up now second.
second down and a long seven for the Yellow Jacket offense. Clock under nine minutes and counting here in the third quarter. Yoda Shea showing the four-man front defense. Ostrowski again under center, two back set behind him. He'll hand off first back through. That's Stevens as he burst across the 40-yard line of Fredonia. Gain of five on the play for Stevens. Again, Wooten in on the tackle for Neota Shea's defense, but it's going to be third down and a short two coming up. 8.20 and counting here in the third quarter. The Yellow Jackets going to the ground and pound attack, just trying to run it straight at Neota Shea, strength against strength. Again under center, Ostrowski. He's got the two backs behind him. Ayler's going to be the split back, and now we've got whistles stopping play. Coach Panko of Fredonia wanting to talk about it with 801 third quarter blue streaks 21 yellow jackets 14 we got a 30 second timeout you're listening to the high school game of the week on 104.1 fm This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. Here in the third quarter, 8.01 left. Yellow Jackets taking the timeout. They trail 21-14 to to the Blue Streaks. Again, it's uh, been a very tightly played game. Now Fredonia faced with third down and about two to go. Ostrowski goes under center. Two back set in the backfield. Right side goes Couch. He'll run to the far side out near midfield to the 49-yard line. That's a pickup of about seven or eight on the play for Caleb Couch. Wooten makes the stop for the Blue Streak defense. Ball just shy of midfield for the Yellow Jackets. They have a fresh set of downs. Ostrowski, the quarterback. has got Stevens behind him as the tailback. This time he's going to hand off near side. And there's not going to be any running room at all as Cunningham coming up with a good hit along with Izzy Johnson in the backfield. Really nothing there at all for Logan Sherman. So it's going to be a loss of about two on the play for the Yellow Jackets. He's up now second down and 12 for Fredonia's offense. Clock moving at 7-10 and counting third quarter quarter. Blue Streaks lead 21-14 over the Yellow Jackets. Ostrowski again slides under center. He's got Couch as the deep back. Left side, it'll be Stevens. Now in motion, Ayler. He'll roll out near side. Look, throws. Going deep up in the air. It's picked off by Berryman for Neota Shade around the 25-yard line. And Mason Berryman coming up with the interception of Isaac Ostrowski. Burgess does make the tackle, but turnover by the Blue Streak defense just inside their 25-yard line with 644 showing in the third quarter. Now the Blue Streak offense a chance to open up their lead a little bit, leading 21-14. to Fredonia Drive took about 5 minutes and 15 seconds off the clock, but they got nothing out of it. Pistol gun set again. Schenkel, the quarterback, has got one back behind him. Schenkel throws. It's up in the air, and it is caught in Fredonia territory at around the 40 three-yard line, and that's Rolston again, a 26-yard pitch and catch from Schinkel to Rolston for the first down. So the Blue Streaks moving the chains with a fresh set of downs, first and 10, now in Fredonia territory at the 45-yard line. Cunningham splits over near side as slot back. Songer the tailback, under center is Schinkel. He'll hand off to Songer, goes left side, running hard, and he fumbles the ball. It bounces loose, and there's a scrum for it. Fredonia says they have it. I don't know. It's hard to say from here. It is recovered by Neota Shea inside the Yellow Jacket 30-yard line. So that's a gain of about 16 on the run by Songer. But it was nearly a disaster as the ball popped out of his hands, but it was recovered by the Blue Streak offense. First and 10, Neota Shea. We near the six-minute mark here in the third quarter. 21-14, Blue Streaks with the lead. Pistol gun set, Schinkel. Songer behind him in the backfield. Schinkel's going to keep it, trying to run far side. The ball popped. Loose, and this time the Black Swarm defense covers it up for Fredonia. A fumble by the Blue Streaks, and it's costly as Neota Shea gives it up. Tyler Deal coming up with the fumble recovery of Matthew Schinkel. 
is a big hit by Troy Miller on the tackle of Schenkel. The ball squirted loose, and Tyler Deal covers it up for the turnover. 5.48 third quarter. Fredonia with the ball again, trailing 21-14 from their own 27-yard line. Ostrowski under center, two back set in the backfield. Ayler in motion. He'll hand off second back through, and it looked like Couch slashing his way through the streak defense out to about the 28-yard line. So only a pickup of one that time for Caleb Couch. Hunter Hutchison with the tackle for the Blue Streaks. Second down and nine pending for the Yellow Jacket offense. We go under five and a half minutes here in the third quarter. Ostrowski slides under center again. He's got Stevens and Couch, his tailbacks in the backfield. In motion is Shea. This time he's going to run the option pitches. It's going to be Couch, the tailback, as he races around the far side, knocked out of bounds by the Blue Streaks. He's going to pick up about five or six, it looks like. Kind of hard to tell where the spot is. Now they're only going to give him three on the play. Cameron Cook making the tackle for the Blue Streak defense. So Couch picking up three. It's going to bring up now third down at about six. Clock hits the five-minute mark here in the third quarter. Under center, Ostrowski. Deep back's going to be Couch. He puts in motion. Shea running the option near side. Ostrowski's going to keep it, looking for a block. He's still on his feet. He gets across the 40 to about the 43-yard line before being ran out of bounds by Berryman of Neota Shea. That's a gain of nearly 11 on the quarterback option there for Isaac Ostrowski. It will be a first down for the Yellow Jackets, and we have a Blue Streak player shaken up on the field with 453 showing in the third quarter. Neota Shea 21, Fredonia 14. Back to the studios for the injury timeout. You're listening to the High School Game of the Week on 104.1 FM KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia, the injured Blue Streak player, Cameron Cook, number three. But the good news is he gets up walking under his own power, going to the far side of the field to the Blue Streak sideline. So it's like he's shaken up a little bit, but seems to be in pretty good shape. Coming up now, first and ten for the Jackets. Ball at their own 42-yard line. Ostrowski under center, puts Shea in motion far side. He's going to run the option. Ostrowski keeps it again. Still running across midfield, and he will be tackled in Blue Streak territory at around the 47-yard line. So that's a big run there for Isaac Ostrowski as it moves the chains again. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down, Fredonia. So now Fredonia starting to string it out a little bit offensively, letting Ostrowski get out into the flat, running the option. Good blocking out on the edge by tight end Tyler Deal. Under center, Ostrowski again, two back set behind him. He puts Ayler in motion. Hands off, first back through. That looked to be Tyler Stevens going right side to about the 45-yard line of Neota Shea. That'll be a gain of about two on the play. So second and eight now for the Jacket offense. Wooten again making the tackle and Cunningham assisting for Neota Shea's defense. Clock hitting the 4.04 mark here in the third quarter. Neota Shea leading Fredonia 21-14. Yellow Jackets on the move in Blue Streak territory. Second down and eight from the streak 45-yard. Line. Ostrowski again under center. Ayler in motion. Ostrowski coming near side on the option. He's going to keep it. Still running. Plows his way inside the 40-yard line of Neota Shea. And Ostrowski running hard. Cunningham making the tackle along with Berryman. That's a gain of around six on the play for Ostrowski and Fredonia. So third down three coming up for the Yellow Jacket offense as we hit 320 here in the third quarter. Neota Shea hanging on 21 14 against the Wilson County rivals, the Fredonia Yellow Jackets. Jackets on the move right to left. Ostrowski under center, two back set, deep tail backs, couch. Shea goes in motion. Ostrowski now pitching. Couch comes up with it. Oh, that was a dangerous pitch. He reeled it in and gets back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. It's going to be fourth down and three coming up for Fredonia. 245 and counting here in the third quarter. But the Yellow Jackets certainly looking like they're going to go for it in Blue Streak territory. The ball just inside the Neota Shea 40 yard line. Fourth and three. Coach Panko says, let's go. Ostrowski under center. Two back set 
in the backfield. And now the official's going to step in and say, how about timeout for Donia? 2.20, third quarter, Neodice 21, Fredonia 14. We're taking 30 seconds with them. You're listening to the high school game of the week only on 104.1 FM KGGF. <laughs> This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia. After the timeout by the Yellow Jackets, it's going to be fourth down and three. They're going for it. Ostrowski under center. Lone back in the backfield is Stevens. It goes to Stevens. He's hit hard. He won't get there. Neodeshay's defense stands tall and sticks him right at the 38-yard line. That's going to be about a yard and a half short. Lynn coming up with the tackle for Neodeshe, and that was a big shot right there at the line of scrimmage by Jordan Lynn the 270 pound sophomore for the Blue Streaks. So a turnover on downs by Fredonia. They hand it right back. And the Odisha with the 21 to 14 lead takes over first down from their own 38 yard line. Savage splits out near side is wide out. Pistol gun formation. Shinkle the quarterback. Puts in motion. Cunningham. Shinkle's hit and he has to eat it in the backfield. Big shot. Fredonia coming up well defensively. Jared Reed really disrupts it in the offensive backfield. That's a loss of nearly three. So that'll push it back inside the 35-yard line of Neodice. So second down and a long 13 coming up for the Blue Streak offense. Schinkel goes to that pistol gun set. Twin slots. Songer the tail back right behind him. Back to throw. Schinkel lofts it deep. It is caught by the Blue Streaks. Clear down to about the 30-yard line. Corey Rolston coming up with the catch. That's a 36-yard pitch and catch for Schinkel to Rolston. So the Schinkel to Rolston combination is big again already. Two completions this half for 62 yards unofficially. First down, Neo to Shea. 115 and counting here in the third quarter. Schinkel going to that pistol gun set. Songer behind him. He'll hand off to Cunningham. He looks for a lane, spins across the 30, and then dives forward to about the 28-yard line of Fredonia. It's going to be a gain of about four on the play for Cunningham and the Blue Streaks. Bring up now, second down and a long six. Streaks break huddle again offensively, under 40 seconds and counting. Schenkel again, the quarterback in the pistol gun. He'll hand off, coming near side. That's Berryman. He's looking for the lane, and he is going to be hit near the 20-yard line. Tyler Stevens with the tackle, and Troy Miller also in the area. And that's going to be a first down for Neota Shea. Gain of about six on the play for Berryman and the Blue Streaks. Black Swarm jacket defense trying to stiffen here. The ball just outside their red zone at the 21-yard line. We're under 10 seconds in counting here in the third quarter, and I believe Neota Shea is going to be content to let the seconds melt away. Three quarters are over in the Wilson County rivalry between the Neota Shea Blue Streaks and the Fredonia Yellow Jackets. Neota Shea 21, Fredonia 14. Back to the studios for one minute. You're listening to the High School Game of the Week on 104.1 FM KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia. Just getting ready to start the fourth quarter of action here at the Wilson County Rivalry. The battle for the victory bell. Currently, the Blue Streaks of Neodice with the 21-14 lead over Fredonia Yellow Jackets. Streaks with the ball. First and 10 from the Fredonia 21-yard line. Schinkel under center. Songer, the tailback. It goes to Songer on the straight handoff, and he is stacked up hard and plowed backwards. Not much of anything there as Troy Miller coming up with a big hit from the linebacker spot. No gain on the play. Brings up second down and 10 for Neodice's offense. Again, the winner of this game will go 1-0 district play, which is huge because your last three games determine whether or not you get to go to the state playoffs. Streaks break huddle. Pistol gun set. Schenkel. One back behind him is Songer. He's got wideouts each side. He drops to throw. Here comes the blitz. He fires it far side, complete to Songer at the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown, Blue Streaks. 
Screen pass goes to McCaden Songer for 21 yards in the touchdown off the pass by Matthew Schinkel. And the Odishays lead jumps to 27 to 14 over Fredonia with 11.08 showing here in the fourth quarter. PAT kick pending for Colton Cunningham. Schinkel to hold. The kick is up. It looks good, and it splits the uprights. Neota Shea, 28, Fredonia, 14, 11 08 left in the fourth quarter. We're going to take a 30 second timeout. You're listening to the high school game of the week on 104.1 FM. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back. Gene John Stadium, Prior Field in Fredonia. The Neota Shea Blue Streaks adding another touchdown as they go up 28 to 14. This time it's a 21 yard screen pass from Matthew Schinkel to McCaden Songer for the score. Colton Cunningham adds the kick. 28 14 streaks, 11 08 left here in the fourth quarter. And now the Fredonia crowd trying to rev up the Yellow Jackets as they're down two scores. Cunningham tees it up at the 40 yard yard line. Again, next week, Blue Streaks will host the Caney Valley Bull Pups at Blue Streak Stadium in Neota Shea. We'll bring you all the action live on the game of the week, 104.1 FM KGGF. The kick coming near side, it's going to be fielded and downed by Jacob John at about the 32-yard line of Fredonia. So the Jackets will have first and 10 from their own 32-yard line with 11.04 showing in the fourth quarter. And you have to figure now, down two scores, you got to get the ball in the end zone on this drive for sure. And you can't take up too much time for Fredonia. Isaac Ostrowski, junior quarterback. He'll go shotgun set, left side in the backfield. Tyler Stevens, twin wideouts each side of the field. Four-man front defense, Neody. He pitches the ball. Stevens dodges one tackle. He's trying to get around the edge. Now he cuts it between the grain, and he'll get out to about the 36-yard line of Fredonia. So a gain of around four on the play for Tyler Stevens. Second and six coming up for the Yellow Jacket offense. Clock 10:40 and counting in the fourth quarter. Mason Berryman in on the stop along with Wooten. Hayden Wooten's been a busy guy tonight. 165-pound sophomore. He's had several tackles for Neota Shea. Stevens going to come off the field for Fredonia. Doesn't seem to be shaken up, but nonetheless, going to have to take a play off for the Yellow Jacket offense. And now the officials looking over at the Fredonia bench, wanting to know who you're going to put into the game. Troy Miller is going to volunteer as he runs out into the offensive huddle for the Yellow Jackets. 28-14, blue streaks on top of Fredonia here in the fourth quarter with 10-14 showing. Only one touchdown in the second half, and that's been that 21-yard screen pass from Matthew Schenkel to McCaden Songer for Neota Shea on that last possession. Cunningham tacked on the PAT. Streaks up by two scores. Shotgun set. Isaac Ostrowski, the quarterback. Miller right side in the backfield. Deal in motion. Ostrowski runs the option. Pitches near side. It's going to be Miller. He's around the edge. Still on his feet. And he's knocked out of bounds in front of the Fredonia bench at around the 46 yard line. That's going to be a gain of about 10 on the play for Troy Miller. So Miller doing a good job running hard after taking the tailback pitch from his quarterback Isaac Ostrowski. And that's a fresh set of downs for the Yellow Jackets. Ball going to be spotted at the Fredonia 47-yard line. 10:02 left here in the fourth quarter. Fredonia has to get busy. They're down 28-14 to Neota Shea. Ostrowski in the shotgun formation. Miller left side in the backfield. Twin wideouts each side. Four-man front for the streaks. Ostrowski again on the option. He's going to keep it this time, and he is going to be hit hard. Songer leading the way for Neota Shea defensively, and he's not going to get anything. In fact, he'll lose about a yard on the play. So second down and 11 coming up for the Jacket offense. 9-4. 40 and counting. Right now for Coach Panko and Fredonia, you got to do something pretty big and special here. You got to eat up some real estate. You're still 50 plus yards away and still down two scores. Ostrowski sticks into the shotgun set. Tyler Stevens back into the lineup. His tailback left side in motion. Couch. He'll fire it. It is complete. And Caleb Couch 
making the catch right near midfield. He'll be tackled at the Neodyche 49-yard line. So a pickup of about four on that pitch and catch from Ostrowski to Couch. So third and a long six coming up for the Fredonia offense. We're going under nine minutes and counting here in the fourth quarter. Jackets down 28-14 to the streaks. Three wide out splitting out near side of the field for Fredonia. Ostrowski goes shotgun set. Again, he's got Stevens in the backfield. He's back to throw. He'll launch it deep. Oh, over the head of Tyler Deal. His tight end incomplete around the 30-yard line. Deal had a step on the defender, but it was overthrown. And it'll bring up a fourth down conversion attempt by Fredonia. Ball right at the Blue Streak 49-yard line. 8.29 left here in the fourth quarter. 28-14, the Odisha with the lead. Pretty much the play of the game right now up to this point for Fredonia. Blue Streak fans on their feet across the field, rooting on the big blue defense. Shotgun set, Ostrowski back to throw. Here comes the blitz. He's in trouble. He just flings the ball. It's incomplete. And I don't know if they're going to say it's a fumble or an incompleted pass. Either way, it's incomplete as Ostrowski Oski was under heavy duress by the Blue Street front line. That was Jordan Lynn that just came plowing through there. So with the incompleted pass, it's a turnover on downs with 8.21 left here in the fourth quarter for the Fredonia Yellow Jackets. And now the Odishay's offense, they take over yet again right near midfield, first and 10. And now the Blue Streaks, you got to figure it's going to be a heavy dose of the ground and pound attack. Matthew Schinkel, the sophomore quarterback, they break huddle. He'll go pistol gun formation. Songer, the tailback right behind him. Wide outs each side. He'll hand off underneath. That's Berryman. He goes to the outside. 45, the 40. Mason Berryman still running through the defenders out near the 31-yard line. There is a flag on the play right near the 40. But that would be a gain of about 18 on the play for Berryman and the Blue Streaks. And it is holding against the Blue Streak offense. So that'll wave off the nifty run by Mason Berryman. Again, next Friday, if you're wondering about the Game of the Week road show, we're going to be headed over to Neota Shea as the Blue Streaks will host the Caney Valley Bullpups in a District 7 showdown from Blue Streak Stadium. Pre-game show around 6.45 p.m. Kickoff time will be 7 o'clock. I'll bring you all the action live on 104.1 FM, the home of the high school game of the week. Again, pistol gun set, Schenkel wide out near side. He'll hand off underneath. That's Cunningham at the 40, and he's to about the 37-yard line before Ayler brings him down. That's a gain of about 13 on the play for Colton Cunningham. First down, Blue Streaks. Yodashe with the fresh set of downs, first and 10. Clock moving at 7.43 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Four-man front defense, Fredonia. They'll hand off again, Cunningham. He plows through the defense. The little guy still churning his legs around the 31-yard line. That's going to be a gain of about six on the play for Cunningham and the Blue Streaks. They'll bring up second down and four. Trey Preset in on the tackle. So the Blue Streaks just grinding the clock right now, 7.05 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Cunningham's been a pretty big burst spark-wise offensively, taking that underneath handoff. Schenkel in the pistol gun, hands off to Berryman this time, and he's tripped up in the offensive backfield. Good tackle that time made by Jared Reed. So no gain on the play for Berryman and the Blue Streaks. It's going to bring up now third down, call it about five or six, depending on how you look at it. We'll say five, and there's going to be an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty going against Fredonia. Oh, that's a killer penalty there. That's going to be an automatic first down. That's going to move the ball close to the 15-yard line of Fredonia. They'll spot it at the 16 officially. So first and 10 blue streaks with only 6.49 left here in the fourth quarter. The Odishé, they can pretty much drive the final nail in the coffin here. Schenkel in the pistol gun. Songer behind him in the backfield. Double slot set. He'll hand off the slot back Berryman, and he's cut down underneath. Again, on the tackle for Fredonia, number 72, Jared Reed. Going to be a loss of one on the play. So second down and 11 coming up for the Blue Streak offense. 6-15 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Schinkel trying to get the offense set up here for Neota Shea as they'll break huddle. He'll go back to that familiar pistol gun set about three yards deep behind the center. Right behind him a yard and a half is Songer. This time he hands off underneath Cunningham and he bobbles the handoff and then he is hit for a loss of about four on the play. Sam Ayler coming up with the tackle and Trey Preset. So a loss of four on the play. 
third down and call it 14 for the Blue Streak offense. The ball right at the 20-yard line of Fredonia. Five and a half minutes and counting here in the fourth quarter. Blue Streak's just trying to move the chains, grind this game out. They're up 28 to 14 over Fredonia. Schenkel again in the pistol gun set. He'll put Cunningham in motion. He rolls out far side, launches the ball toward the end zone. It's caught. It's Rolston again inside the five to about the one. 19-yard completion from Schenkel to Rolston, and they have been dynamite tonight. Stevens making the tackle, but it's first and goal from the one-yard line, and now the Blue Streaks smelling the W with 5.02 left. They're up by two scores. They punch it in here. They can pretty much start warming up the bus. Schenkel goes under center, tight set in the backfield. Songer the tailback. He'll hand it off straight ahead. Touchdown, McCaden Songer and the Otis Point blank range score, and it's 34 to 14. Blue streaks as they have blown it open here in the fourth quarter with 4.58 left. Point after touchdown, kick pending for Colton Cunningham. Low snap handled by Schinkel. He gets the hold down, and the kick is good by Cunningham. Neota Shea, 35. Fredonia, 14. 4.58 left in the fourth quarter. We're going to take a 30 second timeout. You're listening to the high school game of the week on 104.1. FM KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia. The Neotiche Blue Streaks blown this game wide open now with a point-blank range, one-yard touchdown plunge by their tailback, McCaden Songer. PAT kick good by Colton Cunningham, 35-14 Blue Streaks, and that touchdown was set up on a 19-yard pass from Schenkel to Ralston. And those two guys have been absolutely lights out here tonight in the aerial department for Neotiche's offense. Cunningham to kick off again for the special teams. It's a high end over end. Fielded at the 28-yard line by Couch. He's at the 35, the 40, the 45, and Caleb Couch weaving his way between the Odisha defenders for a return of 21. Izzy Johnson in on the stop for Neodisha and also Cameron Cook in the vicinity. So it'll be first and 10 for the Yellow Jacket offense, down 35-14, only 4.52 left here in the fourth quarter. Isaac Ostrowski, the junior quarterback, he'll go shotgun set. One back left side, that's Tyler Stevens. Back to throw, Ostrowski, pump fake, fires, has a man, and over the head. He was looking for Drake Shea, and Shea just unable to pull that one in. It was thrown a little high at about the 35-yard line of Neota Shea, incomplete. Second down 10 coming up for Fredonia's offense. He had Shea open, just a high pass from Ostrowski. Ostrowski again in that shotgun set. One back with him in the backfield. Stevens, he's back to throw. He fires far side. It's complete to Caleb Couch in Blue Streak territory at around the 48-yard line. It looks like Couch has been shaken up after the play. That's a pass of about five yards on the completion. But there is an injury on the field with 4 34 left here in the fourth quarter. Neota Shea 35, Fredonia 14. We're going to take the injury timeout. You're listening to the high school game of the week on 104.1 FM KGGF. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia. The injury to Isaac Ostrowski, the junior quarterback of Fredonia. The good news is he gets up, walks off to the sideline under his own power, does bring up a third down and uh, call it a long five for the Yellow Jacket offense. And Ostrowski going to have to come out for at least one play. You just tuned into our broadcast. Neota Shea led 21-14 to at halftime. And they've tacked on two more touchdowns here. 
here in the fourth quarter to blow it open 35-14 with 4.34 left in the fourth quarter. Caleb Couch goes into the shotgun set as backup QB for Fredonia. And now flags fly as they're going to get full start, I believe, against Fredonia. Yeah, procedure call against the Yellow Jacket offense. That'll cost them five yards, moves the ball back pretty much to the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be now third down and 10 from the Fredonia 47-yard line. Again, next Friday night, our game of the week features the Neodoshe Blue Streaks as they will host the Caney Valley Bullpups in a possible District 7 championship game, if you will, because you have to figure the winner of that game is probably going to be the favorite to win the district. We'll have the game for you, 7 p.m. kick time, about 6.45 on the pregame show. Back to throw, Ostrowski back in. He'll launch it deep, looking for Tyler Deal, far side of the field. It's incomplete. Well, it's going to bring up a fourth and ten for the Yellow Jacket offense. Fredonia tonight really played well in the first half. A tremendous effort. Giving up that late touchdown with seven and a half seconds before halftime really hurt their momentum. Back to throw. Ostrowski fires near side. It's incomplete. Trying to go to Tyler Stevens right near midfield. And that's going to be a turnover on downs for the Yellow Jackets as they hand it back to Neota Shea. They're down 35-14, 4.22 left here in the fourth quarter. And now the Blue Streaks just wind this game down and put the ball into the hands of their running attack. Neota Shea is going to improve to 6-1 and one on the year. The Yellow Jackets of Fredonia, they'll drop to 4-3 and three with the loss. Hand off right up the middle, and there he goes. He's wide open to the 30, the 25, the 20, 15, 10, touchdown, Mason Berryman. 47 yards to the end zone. Berryman scores the touchdown with 4-11 left. Neota Shea ups the lead to 41-14 to over Fredonia. A huge touchdown run by Mason Berryman. PAT kick again pending by Colton Cunningham. Shinkle to hold. Decent snap. Cunningham kicks it up, and it's good. Neota Shea 42. Fredonia 14. 4-11 left here in the fourth quarter. We're back to the studios for 36 seconds you're listening to the high school game of the week on 104.1 fm This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Gene John Stadium, Prior Field here in Fredonia. Fourth quarter, it's been owned by the Neota Shea Blue Streaks. Three streaks touchdowns in the fourth quarter. The latest one, a 47-yard touchdown jaunt by Mason Berryman. Cunningham tacks on the point after touchdown kick. 42-14 Blue Streaks. And the Wilson County rivalry, at least this year, it's going to belong to Neota Shea with a convincing win. Cunningham set to kick off. The victory bell will head back to Neota Shea. Kicks it near side. Hits it about the 20. Picked up at the 18. Caleb Couch. He'll fight forward to about the 27, 28 yard line. That's a return of 10 by Caleb Couch and the Yellow Jackets. 4.02 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Pretty much all over but the shouting as the Blue Streaks coming out after leading 21 to 14 at halftime really just took control of this game in the late stage of the third quarter and have absolutely dominated the fourth quarter with three touchdowns against Fredonia. Again, shotgun formation, and it's going to be Caleb Couch at quarterback for Fredonia. He's going to keep it. He's going to run the quarterback draw right up the middle, 35-40. Couch on his feet to about the 46-yard line of Fredonia. That's an 18-yard run by Caleb Couch for the first down for the Yellow Jacket offense. And on the stop for Neota Shea was Berryman and also Izzy Johnson. So a fresh set of downs for the Yellow Jacket offense. Clock moving at 345 and counting. 42-14, Neota Shea with the lead. Ostrowski back in at quarterback. Stevens right side, his tail back in the backfield. Twin wideouts each side. Here comes the blitz up the middle. Ostrowski out of the pocket. He launches it deep. Has a man. It's Reeled in inside the 25-yard line. Justin Solander pulls it in, and that's a gain of 34 on the long pass play from Ostrowski to Solander. 
first down for Donia. 326 and counting. Ball at the 22 yard line of Neodiche. Shotgun formation. Ostrowski again to throw. He fires it over the middle, incomplete, trying to go to Caleb Couch. Berryman in on the coverage in the defensive secondary for the Blue Streak. That'll bring up now second down and 10 here in the fourth quarter, late stages of the game, 316 left. Neodiche with the commanding 42 to 14 lead over Fredonia. Isaac Ostrowski, the junior quarterback for the Jackets, right side in the backfield. Tyler Stevens, the tailback. Three wideouts, far side of the field. Neodiche shows blitz. Here it comes. Ostrowski launches it deep into the end zone, and it is intercepted. Picked off by Colton Cunningham in the far corner of the end zone. And Ostrowski throws his second interception of the night. So the Blue Streaks get the ball back on the touchback from the interception. First and 10 from their own 20-yard line with 3.09 left here in the fourth quarter. 42-14, Neodiche with the lead. And now the Streaks offense. Got to kind of wonder, do they unleash Mason Berryman once more? He ripped off a 47-yard touchdown run the last time they had it. Cunningham's going to line up his quarterback in the pistol gun formation. Double slot set. He hands off to Berryman. He's going to go right side, and he'll plow his way for about three or four on the carry. Trey preset in on the stop for the Jacket defense. Also Jacob John on the tackle as well with preset for Fredonia, 245 and counting here in the fourth quarter. 42 to 14, the Odishes came in to Fredonia and just absolutely snatched the thunder away from the Yellow Jackets. Cunningham lines up for that pistol gun formation, one back behind him in the backfield, that's Berryman. This time he's gonna hand off first back through and very little gain if anything right there. Caden Wooten in on the tackle and uh, carrying, looks like Trevor Trevor Harvey, so a gain of one on the play for the Blue Streak. Going to bring up now third down and call it uh, about seven. Ball at the Neodiche 24-yard line. We're under two minutes and counting here in the fourth quarter. 42-14, to Neodiche with the lead over Fredonia. Cunningham in the pistol gun. This time he's going to have to eat the ball as he is gang tackled right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for Colton Cunningham. Yellow Jackets going to call a timeout with a buck 34 left here in the fourth quarter. They trail Neodiche 42 to 14. We're going to take a 30 second timeout with them. You're listening to the high school game of the week. This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Fredonia, Kansas. Jeff Carpenter with your play-by-play. The high school game of the week, 104.1 FM, KGGF. 94 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Neota Shea up 42-14 over Fredonia. Punting situation. Izzy Johnson to kick it away. Line drive, fielded, oh, bobbled at the 45-yard line by Stevens. Now across midfield, the 40. He's up to about the 35-yard line of Neota Shea before being tackled by Colton Cunningham. So a 22-yard return by Tyler Stevens. For, and with 122 remaining, the Yellow Jackets will have one more shot offensively, down by four scores here in the late going of the fourth quarter. Ball resting right at the streak, 35-yard line. Again, next Friday night, our high school game of the week will shift it over to Neota Shea as they host the Caney Valley Bullpups from Blue Streak Stadium. Ostrowski in the shotgun set. Stevens right side. He'll roll out of the pocket near side. Looking downfield. He launches it deep. It's incomplete. Had a guy right around the five-yard line, but it was knocked away. Trying to go to Burgess, but he could not come up with the catch. Pretty good defensive coverage there. Kyle Savage back there in the defensive secondary for Neota Shea. So brings up now second down 10 for the Yellow Jackets. 75 seconds remain in the game. Ostrowski in that shotgun formation. He's got twin wideouts each side. He looks to throw. Pump fake. Fires far side. It's complete at about the 20-yard line. Solander again coming up with the catch, and that'll be a first down, pickup of about 12 on the play. Izzy Johnson in on the tackle after the reception made by Solander. So a fresh set of downs for the Yellow Jackets with a minute six left. They're down 42 to 14 to Neota Shea. Blue Streaks improved to six and one with the victory. Fredonia, they'll drop to four and three. 0 and one in district play. Blue Streaks one and 0 in district seven play. Shotgun formation, Ostrowski again. He's looking, he throws, it is complete. And I believe that's Tyler Deal, his tight end. He's bumped out of bounds right at the 20-yard line, so that's a gain of five. 
Good defensive coverage by Neo Duche. Izzy Johnson right there defensively. Second down five for the Jackets. We got 60 seconds left in the game. Ostrowski goes shotgun formation. Right side, Stevens. Again, twin wideouts each way. He hands off to Stevens on the draw. The 15, the 10. He dives forward inside the 10 to about the 9-yard line. So that's a gain of about 8 on the play for Tyler Stevens and for Donia. And that'll be a first down, first and goal for the Yellow Jacket offense. 50 seconds and counting. Again, twin wideouts each side of the field for Ostrowski the quarterback sets up shotgun formation right side Stevens he drops no he's going to hand off again on the draw to Stevens he's near the five and he is gang tackled right at about the five yard line so a gain of around two or three on the play for Stevens Savage and Wooten in on the tackle for the streaks down to 20 seconds yellow jackets in hurry up mode shotgun formation Ostrowski again down to 14 he's looking to throw looks over the middle dumps it quick and no signal yet touchdown yellow jackets Tyler deal six yard scoring pass from Isaac Ostrowski that's with 9.3 seconds left PAT kick pending Troy Miller to try the kick Caleb Couch the holder kick is up Miller puts it through the uprights 42 21 in favor of the blue streaks with a little over nine seconds left we're back to the studios for 30 seconds you're listening to the high school game of the week on 104.1 FM This is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network. And welcome back to Gene John Stadium, Prior Field in Fredonia, Kansas. Jeff Carpenter with your play-by-play on the high school game of the week, 104.1 FM, KGGF, 18 years bringing you high school sports live coverage on radio. Tonight we had a good one, the Wilson County rivalry. The Odisha Blue Streaks leading the Fredonia Yellow Jackets 42-21 to with 9.3 seconds left after the six-yard touchdown pass from Isaac Ostrowski to Tyler Deal. Troy Miller added the kick, and now the onside kick by Miller of Fredonia. He skips it right side. It's going to be covered up by the Blue Streaks. Michael Schinkel, a freshman, covering up that squib kick. 5.9 seconds remaining. Pretty much figure a knee's coming up to end this game as the Neotiche Blue Streaks have came in and won the Wilson County rivalry tonight on the Yellow Jackets home turf, leading 42-21. to Blue Streaks will be in possession of the Victory Bell, which has eluded everyone for many years until just recently. Now Cunningham goes under center in the Victory formation takes the knee and the rest as they say is history another chapter written in the Wilson County rivalry this time it's owned by the Neotiche Blue Streaks by a final score of 42 to 21 this is the Southeast Kansas Sports Network